maybe just speak to what that experience has been like. I, I know that you mentioned there's some pastors that are already in tears when they're out there, but but speak to the value of everyone spending at least an hour, at least a, a portion of their time actually outside of an abortion facility and the impact that that can have and how that really makes it so real for people when it comes to this abortion issue that's all too easy to put behind a curtain and only think about in abstract terms. Yeah, I mean, if you know, if you could imagine living in World War II or the, you know, the 1800s where you know, they're hanging African-Americans from trees and you are standing there, you're living during that time period outside of a concentration camp and you're seeing Jews being walked in there and you know what's happening. It's not like a mystery. They're, they're being gassed, they're being killed. Um, you know, how, how would that impact you? It's the same kind of experience. I mean, these are modern day it's a modern day Holocaust. It's a modern day experience, regardless of what the abortion industry and the culture try to say. That, well, that's the, different. Those were born human beings. That's that's nonsense. It's the same thing. People arbitrarily robbed human beings of value based off of their ethnicity or their color of their skin. Now we're just doing it to babies because of where they're located in their size and you know all of that. And so um, it's a powerful, powerful experience. You can't like a pastor, you can meet with a pastor in his office and talk about this, and he can dismiss you by saying, we give money to the local pregnancy care center. I want to get him to the local abortion clinic because it's awfully harder for him to say, I give money to the local pregnancy care center because the reality is there's a whole section of our population, they're not going to the pregnancy care center. They don't even know about the pregnancy care center. They're going they have an abortion. They have an appointment. They're not considering abortion. They made an appointment. They're determined to have an abortion. Who is reaching these people? And, and at this point, guys, you know, we, as far as we know, we have had at minimum verbal confirmation from over 2,600 families that have kept their babies since 2016. Um, many, many of those moms that we have ongoing relationship with and we get to hear their stories have said, we were looking for an out. We were praying for a sign, and you were that sign. Uh, we believe that there's around 500 abortion clinics in the United States right now that do not have a Christian witness standing out in front of those clinics. How many moms and dads are showing up to these places looking for an out, praying for a sign, and there are no Christians there offering the gospel and offering the help of the local church? That that deeply burdens me, but it also makes me excited too, because it's changing. And we're encountering people all across the United States that are saying, we're going to do that. Um, young and old, retired college students that are, you know, willing to go and, to, and to, you know, be that light at these, at these abortion clinics. So uh, yeah, even if you're not a pastor, go find it, you know, Google search your local abortion clinic, go find it and go out there and pray, like, and just see what the Lord reveals to you, what he shows you. One of uh, actually, uh, one of my friends is a youth pastor in town. He he did a one hour journey. He brought his daughter with him. And while they were outside the abortion clinic there, one of their neighbors who she goes to school with drove into the parking lot to have an abortion. Um, and so, man, you talk about you, you, at that point, there's no talking about we give money to the pregnancy care center uh, because it's, you know, it's. It's real. These it's real human beings. We know what's happening. That mom is walking inside with a baby. She's leaving without her baby in her womb anymore, and the, the life of that child's been ended. So, um, yeah, it's it's hard to really turn that down, especially when you're able to say at the end too. Here's what you can do about it. It's not just hey, this is what's happening, but here's what you can do about it. Subscribe to the Pro Life Guys podcast YouTube channel for more clips like this and for full episodes of the Pro Life Guys podcast, find us on all of your favorite podcast catchers.